Hi there, Halu here. Once again, nothing special happened on this normal Tuesday, but here was my dinner. Some sinchoi, steamed duck, steamed fish, and banchan from H Mart. As a Chinese man, I pretty much eat the same thing every night. Good morning, it is Wednesday, January 31st, about 8, 10 a.m. in the morning. I am headed to work, and recently my routine has been delayed. Um, I haven't been doing 3D as much, I haven't been going to the gym as much. I'm pretty much on vacation mode, but that's okay, because I'm sacrificing that for time with family, for time with my girlfriend, and really just enjoying myself and being close to those who I love. Having a routine is great and it's so much more easier to do when you are just living your life day to day, you're going to work, you're accomplishing some of the chores or tasks that you need to do. But when it comes to like celebrations, holidays, and especially in my case, my girlfriend is visiting me from abroad, then you have to just make some sacrifices for yourself and you know optimize your time with those that you love. Uh, I haven't been finding it too difficult to just kind of go on semi-vacation mode. I still have work. I still try to work on the vlogs. Yesterday I worked on the vlog for about two and a half hours or so. Um, but you know, since I'm doing weekly vlogs now, it's going to be like a longer span of things or longer span of uh, videos. So like I have to, um, you know, put more effort into it and kind of chrono chronologically put everything into place. Um, so. The editing takes a lot longer and I need to spend more time doing it. Um, so when I'm trying to spend time with family and my girlfriend and also do the vlogs, it's gonna be a difficult balance. But <laughs> uh! <laughs> as I was saying, um, yeah, I mean like, it's difficult to try to do the things that you want to do while there's so much other stuff going on but that's completely okay at least in my book because I think you should do the things that you can't do as often um, which is like you know hang out with family and like spend time with close ones and you should just focus on those things uh, which are more important uh, as opposed to trying to accomplish a certain task in the day or like finish a, finish a goal of, of yours while trying to do those simultaneously. Um, so I've been, you know, slacking on my routine, but that's completely fine. I'm still having a good time. I'm still enjoying my life and, you know, I get to go on vacation soon. Um, but it is difficult uh, to try and like incorporate those things while trying to do those other things. It is now 1 p.m. and that means it's lunchtime. Today I have some more sin choy, duck, and sausages. I feel like I eat this all the time and it's just cause like, if my parents don't wanna cook too much, they can just buy a duck, buy some of these sausages, make some veggies and just call it a night, so. But I feel like I have this like pretty often and at least in the past weeks um, from my vlogs and all that. Uh, but yeah, it is lunchtime and um, work has been pretty chill. However, I did get a message from my previous employer about uh, going back to work for them. Um, I'm intrigued, but also there are so many things that I'm trying to balance right now in my own life with uh, working more towards 3D, um, also trying to stream more often because, you know, I'm missing that, like, gaming aspect that I talked about. Like, I just have to play, like, I just have to know life on playing games at least one day out of the week, um, to kind of, uh, balance my sanity. Um, but I got a message from them and I am intrigued. Uh, you know, if, if it's work that I enjoy, it's work that I appreciated, but it did get a little bit too much on top of my nine to five. So if I can work out somehow a way to just do the work, but have it more concrete, have it more defined, have it more exact, so that I know what I'm going into every day that I do work for them, um, I think it would be a lot better. Also, if the pay was higher, it, I would be even more motivated to work uh, for them again. But, you know, on top of the nine to five, it was just really, really hard to balance that work. Like, 
a couple months ago, I was working the nine to five, then I would come home and work till like 3 a.m. And it was just a little bit too crazy for me. So if I can come back around this time and find a way to um, just make it work better, make it work more optimized, make it more efficient, make it more um, just easier easier i just i just needed things to be easier um because with so much going on in my day and not feeling like i had enough time and also dealing with a bunch of other stuff it was just like too much stress to build on top of um but you know now that my nine to five is something that i like can do without thinking and just a second nature to me um it's uh it's a time where i start incorporating some additional gigs and um I'll start building my wealth a little bit quicker. But yeah, I'm still thinking about it. I messaged back my employer and, um, you know, we'll talk about it and see where I go for the next couple of days. But yeah, I didn't really have the words this morning on the way to work, but I wanted to talk about just balancing my routine while um, I'm on like a semi vacation mode. So my girlfriend's here. She's hanging out with my family right now. My family, uh, my sister is back in town. And um, it's a little bit difficult to balance my routine. Like my routine is really solid, I think, and, and it's really good for me right now. But when it comes to having different factors, such as my girlfriend visiting, family visiting, and just spending more time with them, I have to sacrifice a lot of the things I want to do, such as, you know, the, the time that I take to edit the vlogs or um, the time that I put into 3D or the time that I go to the gym. I have to sacrifice some of those things so that I can, you know, make the time that I have now with these people that I love and care for um, more valuable. Because um, I don't want to take for granted that I'm working while uh, I only have so little time with um, the people I want to be closest to, right? I don't want to use that time and um, work on my own thing while I could be spending time with my loved ones. So having to sacrifice that hasn't been too difficult because I know um, myself a lot better now, but um, I would say in the past it would I would choose the work over spending time with my, my loved ones just because I felt like I needed to do it. Um, however, um, recently it hasn't been too bad. Like, yeah, I know I promised vlogs on Sunday, but who did I promise it to? I just, I just promised it to myself. Um, for the small amount of viewers that actually watch this and listen to all my words, you know, I don't really have a commitment to you guys yet, to be honest. Um, but I do have a commitment to myself and I think so as long as I'm doing these things and contributing towards it and working towards it, then um, I don't have to feel guilty about um, sacrificing some of that time to uh, and, and utilize, uh, utilize it to spend time with my loved ones. So balancing this new found routine isn't too difficult at this time, but um, it is a little rough it is a little rough uh, I will say that it's not it's not the hardest thing for me to do anymore but it is um, it's not easy it's not the hardest but it's not easy um, but uh, yeah I had to reply to my employer and then also talk about that so now my food is cold so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my lunch later that evening my girlfriend and I went to Dave and Buster's for a little jujube and she demolished me in basketball I may be tall but I absolutely have zero athletic ability. I might not be able to shoot hoops, but I sure as hell can toss a shell. You look like you're second place. It is February 1st, Thursday. At 8 to 12 a.m. I am headed to work and last night I kind of reworked my routine schedule again um, just really had to pinpoint where if I were to uh, bring on some additional work in my routine um, and work meaning uh, 
monetary value work. Uh, so just like another gig, another um, job per se. Um, but uh, I figured it out and then I talked to my girlfriend about it and you know, she just really encouraged me to just stick to my routine. I thought I was gonna like have to just sacrifice some more so I could spend time with her, but she was, she knows how important it is for me to stick to my day-to-day -day schedule, my routine. And, you know, for me, if I don't do those things, it makes me feel like I'm not progressing in life. It makes me feel like I'm being held back. Um, and um, it's a hard feeling to fight. It really is a hard feeling to fight because once I had something like, once I progressed and like made a habit and routine of myself, and then suddenly I don't do it, I feel like all that work that I put in those uh, months before it kind of just goes down the drain. Um, and it's really just a mentality thing, but it's just, just so much easier if I were to like physically do these things for myself. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to rework it again sometime today. Um, I don't know when, but uh, yeah, if I wanna incorporate uh, another gig into my schedule, if I wanna start going back to the gym while she's still here, then I need to take another night or some time and, and figure that out again. It's tough having to leave my girlfriend to go do these things for myself because it feels a little bit selfish for me and um, you know she came all this way to come visit me and, uh, and I still need to like do these things to like stay healthy and stay sane otherwise like I myself can't even feel good around her if I don't at least do some of these things that I have uh, incorporated in my routine every morning. So yeah, that's gonna need, need another rework. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, but as for now, I'm just headed to work. It's super rainy. I love it. It's amazing. It feels good. It's like nice at home weather. Although I am gonna be going to work, but. Uh, you know, when it rains, there's less foot traffic, it's less busy. So, hopefully today's gonna be a pretty good day. Later for dinner, we had some more sin choy. God, I keep eating sin choy. And uh, some steamed fish. That's pretty much how my first day of February went. Good morning, it is Friday, February 2nd at 7 a.m. I just got finished with my gym session. Didn't do too much because I hadn't gymmed in like over a week. So all I really did was the warm-up uh, cardio that I usually do with those walking in place thingy. Not the treadmill, but the me, 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 me. And um, some uh, planks. Uh, I felt like if I was gonna be coming back to the gym, I should probably work on something else that I have not been doing and should be doing, which is working more on my core. Um, and they were hard. They were extremely hard, even though I only spent like a minute each plank, um, both my, I guess, front and back uh, center, and then my side planks on each side. Um, but they were hard. Um, at the same time, I got really distracted with uh, finding out new techniques and tips on how to negotiate salary. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, I was offered uh, my old job back uh, with the art agency I've been working for and um, I would be more than happy to come back but I do want to try and negotiate a higher salary. Um, most of the reasons why I left was because of uh, mostly just like miscommunication, um, overworking, um, not being able to balance my full-time job in, in addition to this gig. Um, so it was difficult for me to like put everything on top. Um, I would find myself working on projects uh, that are like really, the, the deadline was, was super essential and it 
was like crunch time up to like 3 a.m. and then I would go to my full-time job at like 8 a.m. and it would just be so stressful for me to kind of just put it all together, losing sleep and um, at the same time I was also moving back to my parents' home. So it was just a rough time for me and I did what was best for my own health and my own um, well-being, which was to just kind of uh, leave that position. But I'm finding myself in a better state right now, especially with being able to get up early, accomplish a lot of tasks, finding more time in my day, um, really optimizing my day-to-day -day workflow. Um, and uh, I feel like I can make it work again um, and just come back to doing what I used to do for the uh, agency. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out a way on how to politely and respectfully bring up the uh, topic of additional compensation. Um, and you know it's it's a scary thing. It's, it's it's a scary thing trying to negotiate a higher pay because nobody wants to pay you more. Um, but at least with this occupation, I do think I have better leverage because um, I care about the work. I care about the team. Um, I enjoy the work. It's fun for me, and you know I take pleasure in, in when I work with them. Um, and and. In my past, I feel like I've done a lot to really bring up the company by initiating different projects and incorporating different, um, uh, I guess, things. I just did a lot of new things, I feel, for the company. And, um, you know, I, I would like a higher compensation for that. But I'm trying, I'm, I'm finding it difficult to put it into words that are like respectful and uh, kind, but I'm not completely anxious about it. I just, uh, I'm slowly trying to work out how. Um, but yeah, until then, uh, just gonna go get ready for work. Today's just gonna be another normal day. Hopefully tonight, uh, I have some time to work on vlog for the last week. Uh, I know I'm going to come up on like two vlogs behind. That's how it is when you just optimize your time and spend more time with family and loved ones and you try to do other things and you try to make your whole life balanced out and things fall in and out of place and you know, it's a, it's a lot trying to do a lot. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for work and see how the rest of my day goes. On Fridays, we go out for lunch. I love making my own pizza. My go-tos are pesto sauce, mushrooms, sausages, and onions. I also added some corn and artichoke to the mix. Man, was my poop big. Later that night, for dinner, we had pork belly and you guessed it, sin choy. We also had some stir-fried steamed vegetables and jito which is not exactly translated to pork belly, but is, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it, it, jito tong, yeah, that's what I had. Good morning, it is Saturday, February 3rd. We are on our way to work. Um, this week has been mostly just work, honestly, work, and I'll try to like edit my vlogs at night, but the past couple of nights, I've been mostly doing my finances, um, since so many unexpected charges and fees and just spending in general has come up, um, things kind of get out of whack in terms of budgeting. You know, it's hard to budget when you have to spend money on things you don't account for or expect to account for. So, past couple of nights I've been working on that, but yesterday I finally got some time in to edit my vlog as for, for last week. Uh, edit my vlog for last week, which means I am a week behind. Hopefully I can get it to a point where I can um, edit this week's vlog by the time I need to post next Monday. Um, since I don't really have that much content, it's mostly just me talking to the camera. Um, but things are feeling good. I mean, uh, I went to the gym yesterday. I'm getting my vlogs done. Um, today I need to... I gave myself a time limit to really think about 
what I should do about returning to work for my old agency. And today I'm going to reply to um, my, my previous employer, let her know how I feel about it. Um, I'm down to do it. I'm just a little worried that I'm not going to have enough time in my day. And, and giving up time is like the most expensive thing you can really do as someone who's trying to you know, accomplish a lot. I can't see! As someone who's trying to accomplish a lot. Um, so that would mean instead of streaming on Twitch uh, on Mondays, I would actually opt for working um, and doing uh, the agency work. Again, which I really do enjoy. Um, I just really am afraid of losing that time to do my own things. Um, but I'm also intrigued because of the monetary value and as um, I am trying to build a lot of wealth right now, uh, it's a smart decision for me to do, I think. Um, because I'll still be working on like 3D stuff. I'll still be like trying to forward my career. Um, but I'll also remain in the right circles because the agency tends to focus on 3D work um, and animation. So it's a push and pull sort of a thing. Um, I want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm scared to do it. But I'm not that scared to do it, you know. So it's a it's a push and pull sort of a thing. Um, but I think I'm gonna give her my reply later today and just tell her like, yeah, I'm down to do it. I just need to only be focusing on certain days. Um, but yeah, I think this week has been pretty much just work and try to catch up on my other hobbies. Um, I will be picking up my girlfriend later from her friend's house and then uh, trying to finish most of the vlog uh, tonight. And uh, hopefully I can post that by tomorrow and then start working on the other vlogs um, for this week. Uh, but yeah, until then, I gotta go to work. My coworker was nice enough to gift me an egg McMuffin. Gotta love that two for one deal. It is now 1 p.m. and that means it's lunchtime. Today I have yesterday's leftovers, which is pretty much some steamed vegetables, pork belly, and sinchoy on top of all that. Work has been chill. Um, I just get so much more done when I'm by myself. I feel like there's no one really bothering me. There's no one talking to me. I just kind of work at my own pace, which if it's strictly work and that's all I'm there to do, I do pretty quickly. I did wake up with my eye kind of like feeling sore or something. Felt like, it feels like someone punched me. It doesn't really hurt unless like I blink, but I don't know what happened. Hopefully I sleep it off. I think I've had it before when like you, your, your eyes are so strained and then you go to sleep and then you just wake up with like sore eyes or I don't know. Anyways, um, gonna finish up the day with work and then go pick up my girlfriend and just go home and eat dinner and enjoy the night. Um, hoping, hoping to, hoping to finish the vlog by that time, sometime tonight, and then I'll go ahead and uh, just post it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and also the rest of my day. For dinner, we had mabo tofu, fried fish, my parents' famous chicken wings, which all my friends crave, and sin choy, of course. It's finally Saturday. I'm in bed. <laughs> I edited the last vlog. I feel good. And now I am relaxing. Watching some... Gracilda. Gracilda. <laughs> <laughs> what? For Sunday, February 4th, my girlfriend and I went on a small jujube. We started the rainy date by getting some specialized caffeine in the form of pandan coffee and hojja latte from AK Fresh Roast. This location is located inside of the San Gabriel Blossom Market Hall, which is a cool little gathering hub for food and studying. Following that, we attended our reservation at Graham Cafe and Pancakes. My girlfriend wanted to try Japanese souffle pancakes and man, were they so soft and squishy. We also ordered their fried squid and chicken katsu. 
Every bit of the meal was crunchy and soft to perfection. We highly recommend it for anyone who enjoys lightly sweet entrees complemented with flavorful, savory dishes. Let me see your phone. Let me see a picture. Let me see that picture. What is that shit? I'm capturing way better flakes. For the rest of the day, we went to South Coast Plaza. We did a little shopping, did a little walking around. But man, driving in that weather condition when it was just straight up pouring was so dangerous. Heart stopping scene as an SUV hydroplanes flips and crashes on Interstate 5 near 7th Street in Los Angeles. We actually just missed being in an accident when we're driving and then this car from behind me um, just like skidded into the carpool lane and then like hit the divider and then all I could see going in my um, my rear view mirror was just the car wiped out. So it was super scary. <coughs> so it was super scary, but eventually we made it back home. For dinner, we had pie guat, which is spare ribs, mabo tofu, and some seasoned pickled the cucumbers. Um, Whatever, however my mom makes it. So that was the end of my January slash start of February 2024. I hope you guys got some entertainment from my daily life. As I continue making these videos, I know that they're not like groundbreaking, fun, interesting things, but this is just to show me and whoever is watching that having a normal life is completely fine. The, the more important part is just to be able to live it with the ones that um, you love and hold closest to you. Um, this is a uh, pretty much a diary for me to kind of just to document how I feel. Some days are good, some days are bad, but most days are just normal days that we all go through and we all do things differently. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys do take some value out of watching these videos because, you know, it's completely fine to just live a normal ass life. Like, everybody's living a normal ass life. Not everybody's life is as crazy or extravagant as these, like, big YouTubers or big streamers or any sort of celebrity or influencer on social media. We're all just normal people doing normal things and enjoying ourselves at the meantime. Um, but if you do watch this, I know these videos do get longer with the whole week, but if you made it this far, I'm glad you guys got a little insight in my life. Uh, I'm glad to be able to share with you guys and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Hollow at you later.